Hey, what up guys, I'm Ron with Peace of Battle Stations, and today we're gonna to talk about the Elgato Stream Deck and how I got my animated RGB GIFs on that, which is really cool, kind of adds a cool little feature. And if you don't already know what an Elgato Stream Deck is, take a look at it. It's a really cool device that you can just push up a button, open up application, website, specific folders, I do use mine for audio controls, and so just instead of having like a little static picture on them, it's kind of cool having some animation. So in this video, I'll show you how to animate using free software called GIMP, and then also um, Elgato had a YouTube video that they showed you how to do it in Photoshop. Some people were having problems, I also did too, so I'll show you at the end kind of like how to fix that or how to make it work in Photoshop. So let's do this. All right, so I wrote down some instructions on exactly what you need to do. Um, we're gonna choose GIMP uh, because in Elgato's uh, YouTube video, they chose uh, Photoshop, but at the time when I created my icons, you know, I didn't have the money for Photoshop. So we're gonna do a free photo editing software called GIMP. And what you're gonna wanna do first is download the software. So we're gonna go ahead and go to GIMP, um, download. And then we're gonna go ahead and so go ahead and download that. I downloaded directly and I already installed it. So just go ahead and run through those defaults. Um, but I already downloaded, so let's go to my GIMP application here. All right, so we got GIMP up, and then we're going to uh, so that's the software. And then what we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna download. I'm um, gonna to go to Elgato's website or Elgato's uh, the YouTube video where they have uh, the template RGB template icon pack and also the Stream Deck foreground icon pack that you can also download if you want to use some of their icons. So I'll have all these links down below, um, so you can go ahead and click on those. But it's also in their video here. Um, so we're gonna to want to go ahead and click on this to get the RGB template icon pack, which I already have it downloaded. So I'm not gonna do that again. And then you're also gonna download, if you want, the foreground icon pack. So what you're downloading here, the RGB is actually kind of the GIF, which is, uh, you know, the, the icon packs. And so that's the background. And then if you wanna put, you know, icons in the foreground um, on top of the GIF, that's where these come in. So you can download that and you can look through those icons, see if you wanna use those. Um, what I also did too, I also found that I wanted some, there was uh, not enough of some of the stuff that I wanted in the foreground. So I found that uh, this website too has a lot of great picks that you can use. And you know, so that's where I found some of my other picks. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and download a Photoshop one. Um, because what I wanna do is I wanna create uh, a Photoshop icon. So when I click on that icon, it opens up the Photoshop application. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and search for um, Photoshop. And then I'm gonna want this one. So, and I can download this for free. And I found that the 144 PX or the pixels, 144 works the best. So you can download this for free. And um, oh, so I want that. I'm gonna go ahead and save that in the folder you want. All right, perfect. So we got that foreground picture. And what you're gonna wanna do now is, so now that you have that, you're gonna download GIMP. Um, you want the ability to go ahead and download uh, the foreground into every picture in that GIF. And so GIMP doesn't do that as smooth as Photoshop does. So we're gonna download this uh, script. It's called, they're called GIMP script foos, called overly background. So we're gonna click on this link and we're gonna download this right here. So once you go in here, um, this is the actual script, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and actually download that. So you're gonna wanna download that up here and then you download that into just wherever in your downloads or whatever, we're gonna end up moving that. So we're gonna download that into the downloads and so we got that downloaded and then what you're going to want to do is so we downloaded that we install it so there's a link that on how you actually install it um, basically what you want to do is you want to copy that to wherever your preferences are at so and you can find in gimp where your scripts are stored um, by going to edit and go to preferences 
And then here you should be able to see uh, folders in here, folders and scripts. So where is this stored? Um, so you can install it here in your user directory. And this is where we're gonna go and we're gonna copy that over. So we're gonna go ahead and find that location, which is right there in app data. And then we're gonna do roaming. It already brings it up when you do the app data uh, parentheses. And so we're gonna do gimp to scripts. Okay, so you can see that's where I already copied that file I downloaded is the script uh, called overlay background. So it's already there. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and copy that into this location here because this is where my scripts will be run so GIMP can be able to use them. So once we did that, um, we're gonna go ahead and do a refresh once you download or copy that into the script location. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and go into GIMP and you're going to refresh by going to filters and the script foo and you're gonna do refresh scripts so that it will be able to see your overlay background that you just copied over. So now where that overlay background is in filters, animation and overlay background right here, boom. It's got that script right here, so ready to be run. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up you know, a GIF that we downloaded from Elgato's website the, or the video, the um, one of the columns here. So we're gonna go ahead and just open and then this is kind of where, uh, let's see here once, um, we're gonna download column three because I want it in the middle of my um, stream deck here. And in this one, let's see here once, we're gonna do Elgato and then we're gonna do RGB keys and see, once you download this, you can see what column two, three, four, five. So I want this button right here. So that's where I'm gonna put my Photoshop one, column three. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and open up column three GIF. Let's open that one up. Okay, so you can see the GIF is all pretty much basically 71 frames here. All right, so then once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab that icon that you wanna overlay. And then um, I put that one in the Photoshop 144. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that one down here to the bottom. And then that's gonna be on the bottom there, all the way below all the layers. You wanna scroll down, add that one to the bottom below all of the layers. And then what you gotta do is you go up here and go up to filters, you're gonna run this script. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna copy that um, icon, that Photoshop icon, uh, to it's gonna copy it in between each layer and gonna merge them. So basically each one of these frames will include this Photoshop foreground icon. And so what the script does is automatically does that. So you're gonna go ahead and see how it runs through everything and applies that foreground icon to every frame. There you go. And so after that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and delete this bottom layer here because uh, once you export this as a GIF, you know, there's uh, gonna be a split second where there's no, you know, the RGB in the back. Um, it's just the icon itself, so we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and just delete that layer. So now you can see that every layer here Every frame has that foreground icon and a slightly different frame here, so it acts like it's moving. All right, so from here then, what you're gonna wanna do is export as file, and you're gonna want to um, export as, and then you're gonna go ahead and wanna drop that, You know, find the location of where you wanna drop this. So I found this is where I wanna put this one. And then I'm going to name this one Photoshop. And let's export. And the next screen, this is important here. Um, I don't want this comment on here, so get rid of this comment. You're gonna to wanna to do as animation, because we want it animated, and we want it to loop forever. 
and then you export. Okay, perfect. So let's go check that. Um, we have this in RGB keys and then we have the Photoshop right here. So there's my GIF that I wanna to add to Elgato Stream Deck now. So what I wanna do is I open up the Stream Deck now. So I got my Stream Deck software installed already. I got my, all my other keys and you can see right here is in here is where you go ahead and I would assume that you already know how to add um, you know the functions of the Stream Deck um, but just so you know that every key right here performs a function so I right here I have this where it opens up a website so I got my uh, website, YouTube, Amazon, Reddit, Google, and then this is open up applications, Spotify, Lightroom, and here's where I want this to be. So there's all kinds of different functions you can have. Game Capture, OBS, Soundboard, Stream Deck, Streamlabs. Um, so what do I want? I want System, and what I want to do is I'm going to open up an application. So you can see this Open here performs open up an app, file, or folder. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this open on top here, um, and what I want to open I want to open Photoshop. So where do I find it? That's where you need to find the application you want to open. So I already know if I go down here and let's see where this guy is located. So let's open up this here without the parentheses, copy that up here. Okay, cool. So now I'll go to Photoshop and this is where I want to actually go. Photoshop. So this is going to have, I want to get rid of the title because I don't want Adobe Photoshop to be on here. So delete all that. And then here's where the magic happens where you set from file and you want to go ahead and find that GIF that you created. Documents Elgato and then I want RGB, key, RGB keys and Photoshop. So here is my Photoshop GIF. Okay, boom. And so right there it already applied. So you can see that the GIF is already applied to my Stream Deck. Now, um, it starts from the beginning, and which means it's you know probably not in sync with the rest of the buttons or the GIF that are already flowing, whatever. So what I want to do is I want to to get them all in sync. I want to go ahead and just restart. I want to close the Stream Deck, quit it, and then I'm going to just go ahead and re open it or you know you can reboot your computer but that's basically you don't need to do that so I want to redo the stream deck and you can see that it's now in sync and for those of you who followed the Elgato's stream deck uh, the RGB the followed the video and using Photoshop and having a hard time with their instructions here's how I got it to work in Photoshop so if you also have Photoshop but you're having this hard time having it a hard time to work uh, let me show you a little trick that you can do. Um, so you're just gonna go ahead and launch Photoshop. And then you're gonna go ahead and open up the column that you want. So I'm gonna want uh, column three. Open that up. All right, so as you can see, it goes all the way down here. And if you follow their instructions, they basically added the icon, the foreground icon right on top here. And then um, the, he manually moved it all the way up, which doesn't seem to actually work. Um, so what you, the little trick is, is where you just click on this top layer and then you grab your icon, which is my Photoshop here. And then drag that on here. All right, sounds good. Now that should work just by doing that. Check that good to go and now what you're going to want to do export and then this is save for web legacy and then you can follow the rest of his instructions that he had um, which basically just the only thing you want to cha change is making sure this loop option is forever then you go ahead and save that and then let's just do photoshop uh, maybe two photoshop two since i have that already so save and then you're gonna to go to just verify that it works. Oops. Verify that it works. And then we're gonna go ahead and open. And 
we're gonna go ahead and grab that file here. Gatto, and then we're going to RGB keys, Photoshop 2. Sounds good. And that should already be applied. And boom, that should work. And then if you want it to sync again, um, go ahead and quit the Stream Deck. And then open it back up again. And now it should be synced. They should all be working all together. All right guys, hopefully you learned something in this video. It's kind of cool having some of those animations on the Elgato Stream Deck buttons. If you did anything different, send me a vid or a picture of it because I always think it's kind of cool to see what people come up with. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.